are in Eugene on the campus of the University of Oregon inside Matthew Knight Arena. The Ducks christened the arena to a sold out crowd on January 13th, 2011. They beat the USC Trojans 68 to 62. Welcome everyone, I'm Ken Ackerman. You're watching Comcast Newsmakers. What you might not remember is the following week when the Lady Ducks beat Oregon State University also to a sold out crowd. The coach of that team, none other than Paul Westhead, who joins us right now. Thank you very much for being with us. Oh, my pleasure, Ken. But now that game, 12,500 people show up to watch. Correct. But that wasn't the game you talk about. You, t you talk about another game. Well, the previous week, you know, we closed M Mac Court, you know, which has been there for 80, 90 years. The last event ever in Mac Court was our game against University of Washington, and we were successful in winning that game. You, uh, you, you can't them. come back next week and try again. <laughs> no, you can, not, not at Mac Court. Um, did you arrive on campus early enough to give suggestions uh, to the builders, to the architects? Uh, not really. When I arrived, it was a big hole, and they were digging out and taking dirt away, and we, I was just encouraging them to dig fast and uh, get this arena up. So, but uh, that's a great design, and uh, we're very happy. Tell me how much this helps in the recruiting of athletes. Well, it's an immense advantage. Uh, you know, we're a block away from the Jaqua Center, which is the Student Athletes uh, Academic Center. You walk one black block and you're in the, the athletic mecca of, of basketball here in the Northwest. I mean, it, it's, a, it's a great arena and, uh, you know, to the credit of the, uh, Phil Knight and his family, this, uh, this is a tribute for basketball for a long time now. Now, you obviously coach the Lady Ducks, but you have uh, a connection to the men's side as well. I have a grandson who's a sophomore now. He's a walk-on player from uh, Loyola High School in Los Angeles. Uh, Nicholas Lucenti uh, is number four in the program, number one in my heart. <laughs> can, you, can you whisper to the coach, say, put him in, get him uh, in the game? No. You have uh, no pull there. I have no pull there. I just sit and watch and enjoy. You know, a lot of people remember your career as the head coach of Loyola Marymount, as the head coach of the Los Angeles Lakers where you won a ring with magic. Making the, uh, the switch to the women's game. What was the biggest difference for you and what do you still find hard to deal with? Well, it's interesting. My first experience with coaching women was with the Phoenix Mercury and I walked in and found a cluster of very good players, Diana Taurasi, Cappy Pondexter. And what I found was they wanted to be coached exactly like the men. You know, they. They didn't want me to do any less drills. They didn't want me to water anything down. They didn't want to say, well, you know, uh, women don't do this, coach. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, the only thing I would say women don't do in basketball, they don't routinely dunk the ball. But I mean, they, they run as hard. Uh, they're tough and feisty to set hard screens on you. Uh, they can really shoot the ball. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they're just not as athletic in hang time in the air. But doesn't that translate to viewers and to filling seats? Yeah, I, yeah, I guess it does. But, you know, th there are a number of people, uh, John Wooden as a good example, that thought that the best basketball being played was the women's game, women's basketball, because it was, in his words, was pure. Uh, they passed, they cut, they screened. It was more of a team game. And, you know, so there's pluses and minuses. I mean, like, uh, who doesn't like to see Kevin Durant go for 43 points? I mm -hmm. mean, kind of solo. But uh, the women are going to pass and cut and screen. They're going to follow their definition of how the game is to be played to a fault sometimes. But they're going to do it, and, and that's enjoyable. So if you have a mother and father with a, a son or daughter playing, you show them highlights of the women's games for fundamentals. We show them for fundamentals. You certainly show them for passing and right. team game. A five-man offense or a five-man defense. You're going to see more of that in the women's game. All right. What's your record going to be this year? I'm writing it down. Oh, uh, I never give predictions, but we, we're going to be better than last year. There you go. Better than last year. I'll write that down. Thank you very much, Coast Westhead, for joining us and uh, enjoy the arena. Oh, that's great. Thanks for having us. All right. And thank you for being here as well on Comcast Newsmakers. For the crew, I'm Ken Ackerman. Make it a great day.